You spent weeks, months, maybe even years planning on bringing a new puppy home to your family. It's an exciting time for everyone. If you've chosen a breeder that lives far away, you might have to go pick up puppy or have someone deliver puppy to you. This usually means an airplane trip. Whoever's flying with puppy will need to be prepared for how to deal with puppy at the airport and on the plane. This video will show you what flying with a puppy will look like. Many states and airlines require a USDA official certificate of veterinary inspection to fly with puppy over state lines. This paperwork is what you'll present at the counter when you check in to fly with your puppy. If you're picking up a puppy from a breeder, make sure they have the vet exam and get this paperwork to you so you do not run into any potential problems when checking in for your flight. Most breeders do not provide the soft-sided carrier you'll need to use with puppy when flying, so you'll need to bring your own. When you book your flight, tell them that you'll be traveling with a puppy and ask them about the allowed dimensions for the soft-sided carrier. The carrier will need to fit under the seat in front of you, so dimensions are important. Make sure that the carrier you purchase is airline approved. Most pet stores will carry them, and it's easy to order them online as well. In addition to the soft-sided carrier, things you should bring include wet wipes and disposable potty pads. Usually puppies will hold their bladder when they're in a confined space, but sometimes accidents happen. If you line the bottom of the carrier with a disposable pad, it is simple to pull out and replace in case of an accident. If not, you could end up having to do your best to clean the bottom of the carrier. If your puppy does have an accident, it could get itself dirty and you may have to find the nearest sink to rinse its paws off. A collapsible water dish. You need to make sure your puppy stays hydrated, especially on longer flights. Purchase a water bottle once you're past security and offer your puppy a drink from time to time. Chew toys. More often than not, puppies will settle down and go to sleep once the plane is in the air, but sometimes they just want to play, and toys are a good distraction. Small treats or treats you can break into small pieces. If your puppy is awake and full of energy, a good way to keep them quiet is to take small pieces of treats, put your hand inside the carrier, and play mini find it games with them. Dog food. This is especially important because delays and cancellations can happen, and puppies shouldn't go for too long without eating, so make sure you have some of the food he's used to eating to offer him. And that's everything you should bring with you on your flight with puppy. Now you're ready to head to the airport. Once you're checked in for your flight and waiting to board, you will need to find somewhere to hold and entertain your puppy, getting some of his energy out and making it a fun experience for him. It isn't uncommon when traveling with a puppy for everyone to be drawn to them and want to ask questions. About 10 weeks. When someone asks to pet your little one, just tell them that puppy's vaccines are not completed yet and you are trying to eliminate exposure to things that their immune system may not be able to deal with well. It is the safest thing to do to protect your puppy if you don't want them inadvertently exposed to disease that may be carried on someone else's clothing or hands from their own pets. Just before the flight is ready to board, find an out of the way place where puppy can have an opportunity for a last potty break and drink of water. Some airports provide pet areas for this, but with so many animals coming and going, you have no idea what kind of disease or bacteria may have been tracked into the area. Use a disposable potty pad in a quiet location. Puppy may or may not go, but at least you've given him the opportunity. When you are ready to board the plane, gently place your puppy into the soft-sided carrier. Airline regulations will not allow for puppies to be removed and held during the flight, 
and the carrier must be placed under the seat in front of you. In most cases, puppies quickly decide they want to take a long nap for the flight. But on occasion, there will be one who is unhappy about being confined. When this happens, you will spend most of the flight reaching into the carrier, petting and playing with puppy, so that others around you are not upset by any crying or whining. The goal is for the experience to be as safe and stress-free as possible for your puppy. There is no safer way to receive a puppy from a breeder far away from you than to fly and pick him up, or to have someone personally escort him to you. Your puppy is protected, watched out for, and lovingly handled every step of the way. Mm -hmm.